we live. That intro didn't work as smoothly as I wanted it to. Alright, so last time. I want to say we did the Lopak Slusk shit. And what were we doing? I think we were in the middle of um, the shit with uh, Chode. And. I think that's when the game decided it was done, and we were like, you know what, we're done too. So we gotta go do that crap. I think that's that's pretty much it that we have left on Citadel Station. Of course, then we've got the whole surface of Telos to go through, but um, that's where we'll get Beodur and hopefully some better equipment, because, well, I mean... <sighs> I'm not sure if, I'm really not sure if we should go and, I'm really not sure if we should go and buy that shit from, uh, that Rodian, you know, the, the moral brother, because I don't think we have we don't have the credits, really, for any of it. I don't really think we need any of it. Maybe we'll go take a peek. Just to see what he has, but... Just to kind of remember. I know we got that cyan crystal. Uh, but that was more of a, I absolutely had to do that kind of thing. Um, so I don't really know... Oh my god, I... Still, it's still so, so slippery. Oh, we got it, though. Look at that. We didn't even run into a single wall. <laughs> Define, did it go well? <laughs> Alright, thanks for that. Oh yeah, because remember we had to go to, we had to go to the cantina and there was that dude and we had to get dirt on that bitch. We're just let's just let's just cut out the the crap talk and just be like, yeah, sure, we'll help, whatever. Yeah, because we got to get the manifest shit, the mainframe shit. Got to get the droid. Got to get the papers so we can get the droid. Yeah. See, we're remembering. I mean, honestly, as much as I love these games, like I've said a hundred thousand fucking times already, I just... I, I don't know. D to me, KOTOR 1 and 2, just they're not fun to get the fuck on a damn fun planet. 
and neither of the starting planets are fun. It's not until you have the option to fly wherever you want to go and choose which planet you want to go to first and blah blah blah. That's when the game becomes fun to play. Otherwise, for the most part, this, this shit's just like, it's tedious, it's boring. Especially because, so in KOTOR 1, you know, you don't even start out as a Jedi. So you're like, cool, I'm playing a game where I'm supposed to be able to be this badass Jedi or Sith, whichever, you know, alignment I decide to go with. But I don't. Or, in KOTOR 2, where you're like, um... Oh, you get to start as a Jedi. You get to start with Force powers, but you don't get a lightsaber until several, several hours into the game. And I mean, it's not, it's like, not the worst thing, but at the same time, it's kind of bad. Like, you want to, you want to feel like a badass. Obviously, this playthrough is an exception, because, yeah, we're not going to, we're not doing the whole hokey religions and ancient weapons shit, but it'd be like playing Fallen Order without a lightsaber. Or, you know, if you're me, if you're me and you tried to play Jedi Academy uh, as if it was Halo, and you're like, oh, hey, there's all these guns. I can just play and just shoot people. I don't need lightsabers and force powers. It is doable. It is kind of fun. The wind that is going on, that has been going on all fucking day, however, is not fun. If I can hear it over my mouth and my headset muffling my ears, there's a fucking problem. I mean, thankfully, it isn't accompanied by any uh, wetness. I prefer it to be very dry. Let's see. Speaking of dry, let's see what this Rodian has. They're not Rodians, you idiot. They're fucking Duros. I don't know why I was thinking, where is there a Rodian? I swear I'm, there is a Rodian uh, vendor somewhere I'm thinking of. Because, see, he's got the robes, which, like, I mean, cool, I guess. I think I did get a, a novice robe, though, so I don't need that. Um, I mean, that would be a good one to give to Kreia. But... It's so, like this Mandalorian combat armor is, is decent. It's whatever. And you got the regular combat suit. But I feel like I feel like we don't need these things. And I do like the health regeneration... That comes with um, the fact that we can, you know, upgrade our our shitty little outfit. But yeah, we definitely can't afford that one shielding thing. I guess we really don't need any of this stuff. I might come back for it at some point, but. I think for the most part, this is just what we're stuck with, uh, going down to the surface. But, I mean, there's plenty of, should be plenty of ways for us to get, um, get plenty of equipment and stuff, uh, between all the, uh, all the footlockers and cylinders and all that shit in the military base, in and outside the military base, plus all the mercenaries we'll be dealing with, so... It's not out of the realm of possibility. Well, I don't know what the wind is saying to me, but um, whatever it is, I can't hear it. It's just like trying to fucking blow my ass across a Walmart parking lot. That's a reference to that lady that posted the... I want to say she posted on TikTok. That's not where I heard from it. I actually heard from it from a podcast. But apparently some woman posted a TikTok of her. How the hell? I don't understand. I, unless they did it like after. How the hell do you stop in the middle of you running across a parking lot to then record a TikTok of you getting dragged across the concrete by a, a tornado? Just, just thinking about that for a second really has me perplexed. 
and you, speaking of perplexed. Alright, I am going to make sure we don't have to deal with all that crap again. So... Let's save over slot 4. So that if some... Because I know last time, too, I was like, I chose not to use the Force Persuade, and then he was like, pay me, and I'll tell you. And I was like, but but I just had the option to force you to do it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're not going to listen to him ramble. Yeah, if we can... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Tell me about that, bitch. She's good. Just looking for some dirt. Means you can't. So how do I get in? No, this is serious. Yeah, see there we go. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. We're just gonna, since it's technically not using the a force power. I'm I'm gonna consider that me just doing the Mandalorian thing, and I'm just holding a gun to his head, making him help me. Right, whatever. You could use B44 to get into the mainframe. Nearly all the Zerka technicians are planet side these days, working the recovery zones we've taken from the Athorians. We've contracted out the maintenance for the office's protocol and utility droids. The guy Chano lives in the apartments in residential 082, unit 2B, I think. If you had his credentials, B44 would leave with you willingly. Oh yeah, because he tells us that. I forgot, we don't get the credentials from him. Now we gotta go talk to that other Duros that's over in the fucking residential shit. And he's like, I work for Zerka, Chachaba Waba, or whatever the hell he says. And you're like, yo, give me your credentials. It's a good thing I remember half this shit, because otherwise it would probably be a pain in the ass to have to remember everywhere you're supposed to go. I feel like the wind is getting annoyed, because if it is speaking to me, I'm clearly not listening. And it just... It's throwing a tantrum outside my front door. <laughs> God damn it, I didn't want to log out. Why would I log on just to log out? You know, it's really going to annoy me if when they do ha when they do the remake for KOTOR 1, it's going to annoy me either way if they don't fix the fucking ridiculously long load times, but if they do fix that shit, or if they don't fix that shit, but then they also still change shit about the game, then I'm going to be even more annoyed. I think the only thing that takes longer than the load times in this game is probably the time it takes to load from when you start up into fucking um, Halo Infinite and the time where it finally loads in just your basic shit for you to play the fucking game. Because that's equally as annoying. Not that you would know, because, you know, you don't do the, ha the whole Halo thing, even though it's a free-to-play game, and you totally could try it out if you really wanted to and hang out with me and Justin, but, you know, it's cool. It's whatever. Oh, no. 
Do I look like I have a droid? Well, I mean, I do, but it, you, I don't have it, so. <laughs> Just out in the open. I want your shit. Uh, you can do it if you want to live. Yeah, I could do that, but. Eh. For alone. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this one. What's a big thing for PS5? I mean, okay, yeah, understandable. Understandable. I can't fault you for that. There's a new Gundam game coming out that uh, is free to play. You could play with that with us. It'll be on PS5 too. Yeah, I've load times. Oh, for PS5? Is PS5 bad about load times or good about load times? Twenty five hundred credits. I don't even know how many credits I have. Do I even have that many? Uh, how fucking broke am I? Oh, awesome. I have 551 credits. Fucking Christ. See? It's a good thing I didn't go fucking splurging for shit I don't need to look cool. It's almost like real life. A few seconds, that's pretty good. That's not where I want to go. This is where I want to go. Or not. Or, or can, can I? Can, can the game make up its fucking mind? I'm just honestly waiting for another good game that won't disappoint. Um, so, something not like Halo Infinite. I think the last good game that didn't disappoint me, that actually really, really made me appreciate it for what it is, especially, was probably Fallen Order. Like, I mean, Pokemon Legends Arceus was great, but... Not... It wasn't groundbreaking. It wasn't, um, you know, it didn't shake up the the meta, so to speak. And uh, if not Fallen Order, uh, Devil May Cry Five. I'm, I don't remember which one came out first, but uh, actually, I want to say Devil May Cry Five came out after. So if that's the case, it'd be DMC Five. But we need like another good, another good Star Wars game. A new Devil May Cry, uh, a remake of an old one, 
um, or a remaster of an old one, we'll say. Um, a new Ninja Gaiden. I am sorry, that would I be dope. You. I may only leave the Zerta offices for maintenance by an authorized Zerta or Zerta contracted droid technician. Those are legitimate credentials. I will I'm, I'm really, I, I don't even, I don't even know what to expect as far as the KOTOR remake anymore. I just don't know. Like, I just... I do need to beat Neo, and then probably the second one as well. But here's the thing. I have zero, oh, I have a, I haven't, I don't have my phone at the moment, so I can't send it to you, but I need to. Um, it was a, a link about a, a character somebody created in Elden Ring that I thought was badass, but I don't know how much you'd appreciate it, but I was going to send it to you either way. <sighs> Elden Ring's not my thing, dude. Plus, like, I, I care zero for that that universe altogether. Like, I, I don't give a flying fuck about it. You could... The movies could never have existed, the books could have never existed, and I would be perfectly fucking content. You know the line from Clerks 2, there's only return one return, and it's of the Jedi. Hmm. Then perhaps I may have been misinformed. <laughs> If you didn't get the reference, then uh, I, I don't know. I'd rather say <laughs> look like a bigger fool than I already am. But to be fair, I know nothing of the game, and I only know what I was told. So obviously, what I was told was not at all accurate. It's still not particularly my from from what I've seen. It's it's not exactly my kind of like fantasy lore. Um like I saw a clip of like a dude fighting a giant monster thing and then uh another monster thing came out of nowhere and just murdered his ass. A lot of giant monsters, but I prefer the the more fiendish, devilish kind of giant monsters, you know. Dev May Cry, Ninja Gaiden, you know, that kind of thing. See, that's the thing too. Remember, I'm not I'm not a big RPG guy. Like, I mean, the kind of action, you know, DMC, Ninja Gaiden, Assassin's Creed. I understand Assassin's Creed was turned into a pseudo kind of RPG as far as like your skills and leveling up and shit. Uh, Fallen Order. I mean, open world's cool, but I don't know. Like, I just I have seen nothing to really sell it, sell me on it. I've just kind of anytime I've seen anything about it, I've simply just been like, eh, and then just kept going. Is there supposed to be a tornado? That'd 
that wind is really uh, concerning. It's like being in hurricane season and living in Florida. And uh, neither of those things are accurate right now. Well, I mean, I'll never live in Florida, but 90% of what you play is one or the other. I mean, well, no. I mean, I really don't play RPGs much. Outside of Pokemon or uh, KOTOR slash SWOTOR, I don't really do RPG stuff. At least I can't think of another game I play that's really RPG-ish. Oh, I can't just walk in. Beep, boop, beep, hey. Um, hey, stupid bitch, hey. Oh my gosh, so floaty. Hello, B44. Is there something you need? Oh, why is that? More credits, you say? That's news I wouldn't mind reporting to the sector executive officer. Please, B44, access away. Ah, uh, yes. The part where I, um... <laughs> we, as a droid, convince another droid to go on a murder spree for his freedom. Well, I mean, yeah. Halo Halo is literally the only FPS I play. Because OG Battlefront is not an FPS, and I don't even count the new one as an FPS either, because I always play it in third person. T1N1, what are you doing out here? You're not supposed to leave the mainframe. I think someone needs a memory wipe. <laughs> what the? I don't know. While I can't, while I can't understand your, um interest we'll, we'll say in thing in games like the RPGs and whatnot I know for a fact you understand my uh, I don't want to call it an obsession what's a good I just really love playing really like high action games like Ninja Gaiden and Sass uh, Devil May Cry or even like I guess Neo kind of falls under that category, but... Oh, ran into the wall. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 that's fair. Um, I'd still say it's more... I don't know if... Probably not... Yeah, I'd say 90% is one or the other. But I wouldn't say that's... I wouldn't say that it... The 90 is evenly split. I do want to get back to it. I really do. I need to... 
uh, I need to figure out, well, a lot of things right now, but I could always, I might always, I might rework the schedule a bit and throw that in for Wednesdays instead of just custom games for Halo, because I haven't really, I haven't really got that figured out yet, and uh, it kind of, the idea, so it sprung from a lot of interest with a lot of people I know, but then kind of fell apart since I haven't really heard from them. And outside of Justin, I just still don't play with anybody. Infinite kind of killed Holshaz's drive, though occasionally I can convince him to play MCC, but... Actually, I did play Overwatch for a good while, too. I don't know if Overwatch really counts as an FPS, though. I mean, everything's first person, and a lot of the characters do use guns, you know, in a shooter fashion. So there's Overwatch. And that Gundam Evolution game is basically Overwatch with... Gundam skin, so obviously, I mean, you'll you'll definitely catch me playing that, especially because it's free to play, and it's on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. Yeah, I'm definitely down for that shit. Always wanted a good Gundam fighting game. The Dynasty Warriors games were great, but not really something you play with other people. What? You're just gonna set it free? Is that a good idea? Because it can lie. No one expects a droid to lie. Think of the trouble it could cause. I, I also personally feel that while, I mean, Elden Ring did prove to be obviously super successful, uh, just because I have no interest in it does not discredit that in any way, but, uh, which will, I guess we'll have to have a discussion about that outside of the game, but... I am almost at the point that I feel like there's not really any good ideas floating about anymore that I feel like I would rather them just do remakes and remasters of really good games 
instead of trying to come up with new shit. And again, that's just my personal opinion. But as I said, Devil May Cry 5 and Fallen Order were really the only good story-driven games that have come out recently for me. And it's like every new game is just like, bah, whatever. But if they start remaking those old games and making them better, that's going to catch my attention a lot fucking faster. Make a new Resident Evil, yeah. Remake Resident Evil 4 and make it badass and make it with like new gen graphics, mechanics, and you got me hooked. But only because it's Resident Evil 4. I remember getting my ass handed to me the last time I played Neo. I had to relearn how to not get my ass kicked. Maybe I'll play some off screen that way when I do play. I don't have to listen to you make fun of me for it. Healing a dead planet is one thing, Shiva Hatat. And healing a Jedi severed from the Force is quite another. Um, <sighs> while I partially feel that, I feel like, well, for one, for KOTOR, come on, you can't tell me you wouldn't, you're not gonna at least make two, possibly three playthroughs for various alignments between light side, dark side, and neutral, you know, a la Jolie Bindo. So right there, there's there's three playthroughs you'll make. And if they do KOTOR 2, then there's a potential of six, light, neutral, and dark. All three of those as male or female, since it gives you different companions, a little bit different story. Like, there can be reasons to play it more than at once. And that, I guess, also just depends on if you're an achievement hunter like myself, or they're, what, trophies in, on PlayStation? Same thing, though. It just depends. I mean, it really, as far as, like, replay value, it depends on the game. It depends on... Um... If there's, like, alternate costumes or... Like, that's, that's what I loved about Fallen Order, aside from the fact that, you know, I tried to find most of all the hidden stuff during my first playthrough. You know, you can always go back and find them again, and... I mean, even Halo Infinite had that with all their unlockable stuff and all the hidden shits. So, I mean, there's definitely ways to make it worth replaying a game. Well, that's fair, too. But at that point, it just comes down to, like, if it's KOTOR, for example, I know that that's going to hold your attention for a while if there's stuff to work towards. But then, if it's a different game and that, like, Halo Infinite came out, you know how big a Halo fan I am, I'm not even touching the game unless there's something worth me trying to unlock for that week. 
So it literally just depends on the game, depends on what it has to offer. But I feel like the KOTOR remake specifically will have plenty for you to work towards. Well, I mean, then that's, I don't necessarily say that's, want to say that's you prioritizing Neo over KOTOR, which we're going to have to have a discussion about that. <clears throat> but, I mean, I understand because I understand your, your enjoyment out of both of those series. Also, uh, so I was informed there are apparently tornadoes all over the place uh, right now within a couple hours radius of our area. So you probably should be keeping an eye on the weather where you're living too. I love how we literally just left and then he's then they got attacked. Almost like those assholes were like waiting behind the door for us to leave. Yeah, but, like, what could they really add? Like, I mean, I understand it's it's a, a remake, not a remaster, so they can change things, but what would you want them to do? Would you want them to add another planet? I mean, yeah, it'd be, it'd be new shit to go through and whatever, but would it really be, would you really want them to tamper with the game? in that big of a way. I still wouldn't mind a uh, prequel of sorts, personally, instead of them adding shit. Give us a fucking prequel. Let us fight against the Mandalorians through the Mandalorian War. Like, that would be fucking cool to me. I mean, I, I, I can kind of understand that, but...
is it is it worth um, say you know, sixty bucks? For okay, this is my biggest gripe with fucking Kotor. I literally was running the opposite fucking direction, but because I was facing that way and all this shit was going on, it ran me straight into combat. I mean, it does, but... I mean, I'll be honest. Have I touched Fallen Order in a while? No. I'm, I'm fucking hitting walk. Walk the... F I, don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm like, I can't get him to fucking More where that came walk from. the way all the shit's going down. Or even like Elden Ring. What, what what in Elden Ring gives you the desire to play it more than once? Yeah, it's a new game and you're doing whatever, but are you, are you going for all the achievements? Are you is there unlockable hidden shit to find? Oh whoa, how did my shit get down to sniper? Like, for me, there are always certain games that I can go back and play, and just go back to play them just for the hell of it. Uh, the KOTOR games being one of or two of them, rather. Uh, any of the, any of the Bungie era Halo games, uh, Devil May Cry, more specifically 3, 4, and 5. Um... Assassin's Creed, I just I never got a chance to go through all of them. That's kinda why I'm making the effort here. Why is he running all the way around to fucking shoot this guy? Let us end this. Uh no, Magnus, this is not a speed run. This is a um we are not a Jedi run. No lightsabers, no force powers, no nothing. And once we get off Telos, probably no Kraya. I want none of that sorcerer's ways. Um, kind of does. <laughs> kind of does. I mean, there's definitely... I mean, like, obviously we have to get force powers when we level up, but having them there and not using them does kind of suck. Uh, but it's, uh, it's something new. We never played it this way before. Uh, might play the remake that way when it comes out. Doubtful, but... But the thing is, like, a lot of the, like, a lot of the games I enjoy playing don't have PvP. So, while I, I understand the PvP aspect... Or, or are you saying specifically um, Elden Ring's PvP? Because, like, Halo's PvP is just Halo. You know, I just go in, and if I've got Justin and or one other good player, you know, we just go in and just mop the floor with them. But most of the other stuff I prefer to play is not really uh, PvP. And SWOTOR had PvP, but outside of... I wouldn't even say really I did PvP on SWOTOR. For the most part, whoa, I did not mean to unpause it. For the most part, we just played, uh... We just played, um... I cannot target this asshole. We just did raids more than anything else. Oh yeah, he's already attacking.
I hear you. Yeah, I can understand that, like I said, I'm not a big, not really a big PvP player outside of Halo, and I mean, that's that's what we all grew up playing anyways, was, you know, Halo 1 and 2, and the original Battlefront 1 and 2, that was, for the most part, besides stuff like Smash Bros. And on top of that, most of the stuff that I do play or that I would be interested in playing, I don't have people that play. I mean, that's like, that's the whole point, like, the podcast crew trying to get everybody to play the same fucking thing, and it's like, I mean, we had Among Us for a little bit, but, uh, really, that wasn't, one, didn't last long, and two, it wasn't, it wasn't exactly something that I would want to play over and over again anyways. Let's settle this. You know, I'd rather do, do like, Mario Party or, uh, like, Prop Hunt, something like that. Or maybe even, like, I still kind of have the interest to do Fall Guys, just because it's, it's more chill and goofy. A cooperative, a cooperative competitive but I mean, I pitched the idea, we all have a switch, but... And Atten getting back up, that's why Atten is, like, my favorite companion character besides HK and Candorous slash Mandalorian, or slash, uh, Mandalore. So let me ask you this too, because I mean, like I said, you, you've also played through the Coco games a shit ton of times, just like I have. Where do you usually go when you leave Telos first? Most of the time I leave and. Well, I always left first and went to Dantooine. Because it was a planet I was familiar with from the first games. And you got the, the crystal caves. And... So I always went there first. Uh, but Nar Shaddaa is good because you can actually you can get your lightsaber pieces faster going to Nar Shaddaa first. But I'm thinking, since I'm not using a lightsaber and I don't need the crystals, um, I'm thinking this time through I want to go to Onderon first so that I can pick up Mandalore as a companion. Because usually, I'm weird, and I like to save the best for last. Whoa, we might be a little close to death here. Oh, we caught that so well. Um, but I always leave the best for last, and so between uh, Master Kavar, which is the one you meet on Onderon, and just the whole the whole thing with attacking with the palace, whether you light side or dark side, is just so fun. Um, I always leave that one for last. And so... This time around, it'd be different for it to, one, not be last, but also to maybe have uh, Mandalore going around with me to other places and maybe hearing some dialogue I've never heard before. Dude, I'm still so sad we can never have, we can't have the same Candorous voice actor for the remake. Maybe they can use the old, like, audio and kind of clean it up. Or they can find a really good person who can impersonate it.
See? And this is why I save my level ups. Oh my god, so much is happening. Alright, let's cancel combat. Adam's back up again. And I'm proud of him, but maybe after this he can um, walk out here and get healed. What if I... What if I do this? Turn solo mode on and take control of him. Yo. There we go. And he should be able to heal himself up nicely. Oh, fuck, they followed him out here. That's something new. Did my fucking... See, that's the only thing... That's the thing I can't control. Is when I switch characters to do anything, I can't stop the CPU from using force powers on my character. So obviously I can't count that against myself. As frustrating as it is. Everyone down. Time to kick you down to size. I really need that feat that uh, nullifies the the negative rolls when using um, ranged weapons in close range. Oh, let's take this off solo now. Okay, so I still can't get Kraya. I hear you. Atten was still in combat too. Maybe that's why Kraya won't get up. Come on, old witch. Yo, nap time's over. I still can't click on her. Alright, well, we should at least be able to go in hopefully finish things off hey Atten, where you at bro? Say the word. I need you to get in here and uh... Keep you. Time to even the odds. See, usually my my order of progression is usually like Dantooine, Narshada, uh, go to Onderon and start that shit, then go to Korriban while the Onderon shit's the supposed to be happening. And then after Korriban, go back to Onderon. 
So I may even I may even switch it up this time too. I just I don't know what the benefit is of going to any of the other planets versus um you know, say going anywhere else. Cuz I mean, the benefit of Narshada being get your lightsaber parts quicker, but again, that doesn't really help me out much, so and Corbon, there's nothing on Corbon. I hear you. So it's between Dantooine and Narshada. And I don't I don't know, maybe it's Narshada. I mean, I don't dislike Moshina as much as uh, Telos or Terrace, but it's, it's still down. not fun. I'd say out of the four planets you go to, I, I like it the least. Just like the, out of the four planets that uh, I you go to in... Um, KOTOR 1, obviously Manon is the fucking worst. Now, see, that's that's where I'm a little conflicted, because obviously we know that, we know that Manon sucks. But we also know that going to Manon is, I mean, on this gen graphics is going to be a fucking beautiful planet. What in the hell is this bitch doing in here? The war has really inflated prices here in the outer rim. Medical supplies are in short supply. Bitch, you in the wrong the fuck. Um I usually go to Tatooine first. I, again, I usually say Corbon for last, so I usually do Tatooine uh, to get HK, really. Do Tatooine, then Ka uh, Kashyyyk, Manon, and then Korriban. Uh I'll probably change that up, too, just because, I mean, HK is great and all, but I feel like I'd almost rather have Jolie Bindo. Just, I just, I miss that old fuck. I hear you. But I feel like that's another that's another uh, place where Kotor 2 did really well that the first game just didn't. Is in Kotor 2, I mean we had we had better companions. I mean you got the handmaiden was it was really interesting. You had Vsauce who I mean as far as you know, it's a, a Sith character. You got Kreia. So, like, Vsauce kind of replaces Jolie. Uh, as far as, you know, getting your other Jedi character. Not a anywhere near a good replacement. And then Kreia is, like, your Bastila replacement. Which, not as good of a replacement. But I guess that depends on your perspective. Um... I like Adden over Karth. Obviously, Mandalore and Candle are the same fucking character. Uh, Zalbar was okay. I didn't really care for Mission. I uh, didn't care about Juhan. Uh, Mira and Hanhar in this game are kinda, yeah. You get HK and T3 in both games. I, I never, I don't even ever want to use Goto. Maybe there's really not that many better companions of two over the first game. Maybe it's just that I, I, what the, oh. Hand was in the wrong placement on the keyboard. 
Maybe it's not so much that I feel like there's more. I think maybe they're just better overall. Dude, Jolie was Jolie was good, and I feel like Jolie was so fucking underrated. He was. I you know I think I would say that Jolie is the literally the embodiment of what a Jedi should have been. I do not get to talk about Juhani since I murdered her in my very fucking <laughs> my very first playthrough. It's funny because uh, so I was going through uh, I was going through uh, Battle Buddies videos uh, for the highlights from from last year, and there's a match where there's a gamer tag I misread as Juhani, <laughs> and like literally in the in the match I was like, don't worry, I'm not gonna kill you this time, and she fucking. <laughs> She fucking just quit the match and just like jumped ship and I was like, I said I wasn't gonna kill you. <laughs> uh I didn't like her either though. I mean once you once you got through and you know got through all of her backstory stuff, it was it, it, kind of interesting. But her character just didn't really just didn't appeal to me. If I had to say, and I, I hate it because I I really feel like I'm just betraying everything about what the KOTOR games are and just myself and the fan base. But I, I feel like my two favorite companions to have would be Jolie and Candorous. Like, HK is great. Don't get me wrong. I love having HK. But I don't know. I just feel like the dialogue from Jolie and Candrus and how they banter with other characters was just something HK was lacking. And then just like in this game, like again, I love HK-47, but having Mandalore and then Atten, one, Atten's just snarky and he's kind of like the Han Solo of the, the game. And I like that, but also the fact that he just, you know, constantly comes back to life, that's a good thing too. That's always a plus. Okay, you are missing health. Heal yourself, you bitch. Let's go, um, oh, there's just a random droid in here, just fucking off. Have you uh, checked out any of those uh, Kreia's conundrums that I sent you? I feel like so much has happened right now, I want to go ahead and save this. It's, in it's interesting. It's really well thought out. My only, my only quip about it is that uh, a lot of times the the video is just random whatever shit, and not always specifically about the 
you know, Kraya or the topic or even KOTOR in general. Um, but for the most part, I just play it and listen to it when I'm doing laundry or what the hell ever. I haven't gotten through all of them yet, but they're really interesting. And I know with you, with your Kraya fanaticism, that uh, you would, I thought you'd appreciate it. I, we came across uh, the other day, might have been a couple weeks now, um, but Justin and I came across a gamer tag during a Halo match that their gamer tag was Kraya X Revan. And I don't care who the fuck you are, don't be shipping that shit. That's just no. No. Um. Well, door's locked. Alright, bye. Yeah, I forgot. I gotta talk to, uh. Gotta go talk to Mozart before we talk to Chode. And I think he's in here. Yeah, we literally, like, went right past him almost. Just don't make it a habit. Yeah, because, you know, once I leave this fucking planet, I ain't coming back. I might come back to buy some of that shit and to complete the quests from Lieutenant Grin, but that's it. Chodo Habat, you will die along with your herd. That's not Why don't they always answer. make like the asshole like the a job. like look at this mercenary you, dude with his stupid done. flat top oh, haircut. He looks like the fucking um oh, I can't even remember what his name is. Perhaps, the the soldier today, dude from boy. Small Soldiers. <laughs> you know, a movie you that must <laughs> come to your rescue. Very well. I doubt anybody I even remembers exists anymore. Game. I used to love that movie too. I may as well back away so I can get rid of that damn negative multiplier. This bitch ain't taking damage from nothing. Though. See, I thought it was a great fucking movie. I remember there being. I remember when that movie came out. Um, there was a game? No, I don't remember that. I remember when, like, when the movie came out, it was like, super popular at the time, and I really wanted to go and get, um, they had, like, these, like, I think they were, they were, they're, like, 10 or 12 inch, uh, you know, like, the, like, the big figures, and they, they, of course, you know, they'd speak lines from the movies and shit, and Toys R Us, I think, sold out of them, like, the first fucking day. I don't remember a game though. Cray is already dead, that's exciting. This is going to be I remember there being a game uh, that I used to play at a friend's house. Um, it was before Halo came out. Alright, can we not? And it was. Um, I don't remember what the game was, but you basically you played as like the little green army men that you could buy at like the dollar store. And you get different ones that had different weapons and shit. I wanna say it was on N Nintendo 64. That was uh that was an interesting game. That was kinda fun. See I mainly just want like stupid little I I just want like stupid fun shit to play with the gang again instead of Like Among Us started out great but got where people are starting to get too heated. But I want a game where we can all have just some casual, like, just dumbassery and it'd be fun. There can be a little competition, of course, because it's a game. Somebody has to win, somebody has to lose, but... 
you know, just something to... I don't know. Something, something we could all play that just wouldn't cause any negativity, any negative feelings. But I mean, the lack of uh, consistent interests between the members of our group kind of is already stretched about as thin as it can be. Yep, there goes Adam. I, I seriously, I couldn't get this bitch down if she was running towards me. Alright. Um, yeah, I mean, cast Castle Crashers. Well, I mean, it's not, obviously it's not the same thing. But that's why I was trying to get word. you guys to check out shit like Fall Guys. But... It just wasn't, uh... Wasn't desired, so... Bitch has got some shit on her. Oh, a scope that I can't use right now. Exciting. I think that's also why for quite a while until like a new game comes out that I actually give a shit to play, we're not gonna be hitting the front page of Twitch anytime soon. Because nothing I play is anywhere near even like the top 20. Halo Infinite's not even near the top anymore. And rarely is if there's not a tournament or something going on. some good hits in just out of you know grenades over there. did he seriously just heal himself what a piece of fuck stain Well, part of the reason I had no interest in Elden Ring was, well, the information that was given to me clearly was inaccurate as sin, but I, I still just, I don't have any interest in like, that medieval kind of fantasy genre. Everyone down! So, like, that's just kind of never really going to be something that I end up caring to want, uh, to play. And I'm obviously not ever touching 
Fortnite with a goddamn stick that is five times the circumference of this planet. Just so much of that crap I don't care about, and it's like, well, what, what are you gonna do about it? And I mean, I, I could, but at the same time, what the fuck's the point? Like, if I'm not having a good time, and I know some people are perfectly okay with watching me not have a good time, but... See, they're my freaking other... They're the computer goes controlling my dude who's in the force. There's really no way around that, though. I can't make them not do anything. And I mean, I've seen, I've seen where some people are playing some shit that is not new or anything of the sort, but they already had a following to begin with, so it's like, you know, if there's someone you enjoy watching and they're playing something that, whatever, you're just like, oh, well, I'm gonna watch them play this, and it could be like, you know, something old as sin, like what I do, except, yeah. Yeah, see, I'm, I can't do that. If I'm not invested in the game itself, then the gameplay doesn't really matter to me. Like, if you were to take away... You could you could literally make a Lord of the Rings game and make it play just like Devil May Cry. I couldn't enjoy it. I just couldn't. Everyone down! Just like there are other... Like, there are also other demonic whatever games where you're fighting with people or shit. I have no interest in them. It's just, I'm... I mean, you could say I'm picky, but it's not... It, it's kind of like that, but... Not to the extreme. And I've played things that I didn't have interest in before. It's how I ever played Fortnite at all. But just wasn't just wasn't my thing. So it's almost dead. There we go. Shit. Ah, there's there's still one more. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before you before you start a real fight, let's let's, let's not. We're not talking about OGs, right? You're talking about the new shit? The newer ones? Oh, why isn't Atten fighting? What are you doing, asshole? I hear you. He, he literally can't see this bitch, so he ain't shooting. <coughs> I'm getting a better look in the room though and I see that she's the only one left so that's nice. Prey is still down there taking her fucking grandma nap. Like even if you were like oh, I didn't really enjoy I think Reach is the most controversial as far as that goes. Then you know this to each their own but don't be hating on the, the original three. Come on. Don't do that to me. Time to even the odds. Who's that? Who do you see down 
or even the people that are like that they don't like Devil May Cry too, and it's like, all right, cool, I understand that, but don't hate on the other four games. Don't do that. <laughs> look how look how dead my character looks. He's like, all right, I'm tired of this shit. You never did, really? Not even the first one. I I can't I can't fathom. So what about Ninja Gaiden or even Neo? Like you're so you are so insistent on me f going back to Neo again. Okay, I understand that aspect, but I mean when you've got the the forerunners, the Halo rings, uh, the Flood, all of that was pretty original. Ah, uh, the small soldier didn't even have a... He didn't have a loot. None of them did. What kind of... I feel jig... Juked. Duped. I can't... I can't speak. So I feel a bit, uh, unintelligent. My dude's all healing up, though. Alright, so that means we should be done with everything on Telos now. Lightsaber, da, 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 da. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the way, that's, that's literally the way Ninja Gaiden was, too. I don't, I, you, I don't know if, like, you actually enjoyed the story to the Ninja Gaiden games or paid any attention to that, but, I mean, the Arch Fiends and, or even the, uh, the Emperor of, uh, Vigor, Vigor, however you pronounce it, uh, and all that shit, how, how the Fiends tied into history, I mean... But, I mean, they're both made by Team Ninja, right? So, I would assume you'd probably feel similar towards it. And you can't tell me you weren't invested in the, the stories of KOTOR 1 and 2. Because, I mean, we all know that's bullshit. I also like the way they tie demons into the history of Death May Cry, but it's not 
nearly to the extent that, like, Ninja Gaiden did, or even, I guess, the way Neo, based on how you describe it. This is Lieutenant Grant, TSF. We've been expecting you. Grant, it's nice to know that TSF hasn't gone to shambles in my absence. And how about you, an admiral? You might change your tune after you see what the situation is like down here, Karth. I've got some bad news for you. Well, it can't be that bad, Grant. I think Telos has already been through the worst. The one you came all the way out here to pick up? Well, he managed to escape the station. We're not exactly sure how it happened. Well, that's unfortunate, but luckily it still fits our plans. Am I hearing this right? I'll tell you more when I arrive, but the Republic has decided not to detain the Exile and adopt a wait-and-see approach. The Exile? Then... Like I said, we'll talk more when I arrive. Looks like we will. I'm uploading the approach vector to you now. See you soon, Admiral. Yeah, I mean... I can see it. I, I get. I can see it from your from your standpoint. Like if it's got great gameplay. I don't know. To me, it's just like. Gameplay evolves over the course of game because you'll you know get new weapons better equipment level up whatever so like it, it can change to an extent but some games like like especially kotor kotor being such a long ass game or even i think swotor had took even longer to get through this class missions on swotor than it does kotor one and two combine possibly but it's like you Everyone know, hold on tight. Gameplay or not, in a few seconds. if you're not a, 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 I always forget that's different. Gameplay or not, if, Grab onto something. This is about if to get the story rough, doesn't fast. take you far enough, you're not going to be able to sit and do the same thing over and over again with just vanilla. Or at least I can. All right, yeah, bud. Take it easy. I will. I've got to. I got to figure out when to fit it in because I do want to play it again. I want to play Ninja Gaiden again too. Now that we've been talking about that, wonder if I can play both. Good to have you back, General. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, that's... As far as I know, it plays just like uh, any other MMO. It's just the... the flavor of... everything, but... I don't play. I, I'm not a big MMO person, so I don't play Swotor for the gameplay. Uh, aside from, if I, aside from my my Merc and my Sorcerer, occasionally my my Juggernaut tank. Aside from taking them on raids, yeah, I I don't play Swotor for the gameplay. I played it for the story, and that was basically it. If I played it for the gameplay, I would have stuck with WoW. You know, ten plus years ago. Easy now. 
you survived one spectacular crash. Lucky I was here to pull you and your friends out of that shuttle, or you'd be more than a little crispy. But it's only fair. I owe you more than one, General. You must be in shock from the crash. Have to expect some long-term memory loss from that. Too bad he's not a droid, huh? We can't all be that lucky. How human are you, General? I was one of the Iridonian Mechanic Corps that was at Malakor. There you do. I can see how you'd forget me, being that I was the only one. Don't think too hard. I'd rather not talk about the war, if we could. We all went through some tough times after Malakor, and maybe we all did a little forgetting. Guess that's one thing you've got better than droids. They can't forget anything. But then you give them a memory wipe and they forget for good. They'll be fine. The pilot's more or less unharmed and the old lady, well, she's tougher than she looks. You know, I never thought I'd see you again, General. Galaxy's a big place. And this is the last place I thought I'd bump into you. So I have to ask, just what are you doing here? Got some news for you, General. That shuttle of yours is done for. Scrapped. <sighs> well, this is familiar. Feels like my last time on Telos. Crashed the shuttle that time, too? Nope. Pazak. That was not the most pleasant landing I've endured. Next time, we should perhaps seek out a more reputable pilot. You're welcome, Kraya. You know, if I weren't such a crack pilot, we could have hit the shield wall or one of those rock faces. Yes, our current situation is a vast improvement. Beats me. No one's supposed to be here but a Zerka research team. I can't say they'd be happy to see us, but shooting us down? I can't imagine Zerka having us shot down by a bunch of scientists either. You know, I caught a glimpse of what looked like an AD tower when we flew over the compound. Maybe they're doing something they shouldn't be. I've seen pirate bases with the same sort of setup. I can help you find it. I have access to the shield network. I came hoping to repair whatever damage your shuttle took, but not even I can fix that wreck. We'll have to get back to the compound. It's the old Ephorian research station, turned into a salvage team staging area. It won't be an easy hike. Zerka freights men and equipment from the landing pad there. If it's there and we can breach the perimeter, there's probably something we can use. If not, we could try our luck in the underground ruins. Either way, it's back to the compound for us. That's the plan. And I think I have to take him. Yeah, alright. We're taking him and we're taking Adam. I'm not leaving Adam. So we don't have Kraya for the moment, which is. Uh, I mean, we're not gonna miss her. Her, her force abilities might be kind of helpful, but. Alright, so I have nothing I can equip Beodor with. I don't even know if the clothing fucking matters to equip him with. Uh, refill. Uh, there's a cardio. I'm kind of just, you know, equipping them with what we got. Because to be honest, we don't really have a whole lot. Not till we can uh, get to a workbench and start crafting some shit. Um, what are his... What are his stats? Strength, constitution... 
So his dexterity is pretty low. So he's he's a strength dude. So let's give him some melee shit. Doesn't give him the Viber Blade. It's the upgradable one, but not that that fucking matters. And, alright, he's on aggressive. Okay. Yeah? Let's see. Let's go, let's go kill some of this shit. Little Canox. Mainly just because we need the experience and anything we get, we can possibly break down. Everyone down! Let's settle this. Yes, I knew he was going to die, but that's okay. Let's settle this. He'll get up, he'll heal himself. And it'll be like nothing ever happened. Time to even the odds. Like I said, I really try to save those level ups for big battles and to be able to catch ourselves in a pinch. Plasma grenade, that's nice. 28 credits. What is this thing doing eating credits? I mean, I guess for that matter, what is it doing eating a plasma grenade? some good equipment for Bayodur. Right now he basically has no defense. In fact, I'm gonna stand here and let him heal himself and uh, I'll be right back.
back. Everybody's healed up. I should have actually went back. We need to go. That sentry droid probably yeah, spotted I know. us already. Thanks. Great. They were probably looking for me. Probably we should have went back and down. We could bought handing the all the grenades that, that Duros had, but shot you down in the first place. Oh well. Good point. Forget I said anything. Time to take you down to size. <laughs> Now what I need to do is use on this guy, this shield breaker. Yep, that worked well. Am I going to have to go back and buy that fucking armor just so the Beodor has something that's not, you know, paper thin? Because I actually think I am. Let's try... Let's try an, an odd tactic. Okay, so clearly that's not doing shit. I thought maybe the plasma thing I could just cut through the shield, but... Obviously, this dude's aggroed on me. I don't know what it takes to get through this fucking shield. Oh, I'm muted. Cool, great. Okay, how in the fuck did I get hit? I'm way the fuck over here. This asshole's right here. I can't hit this dumb piece of shit right fucking in front of me, but he can hit me all the way over there with a melee weapon. That's fucking trash. And 
with just Atten, we're probably gonna die here. Yeah, I don't even know it's worth the whole leveling up and then. Everyone down! Like this is this is actively fucking just stupid. Like seriously, Bayodur didn't come with anything equipped. At least something to give him, you know, some kind of defense. Everyone down. Like he didn't even have basic basic fucking clothing. Is this guy's shield gonna fucking run out anytime soon? I suppose I could just run around for a minute and just let Adam's natural resilience build back up. Yeah, guy's still pretty close. And he's the shielded one, too. If I can get through him, then I can get through the others, no problem. Time to even the odds. It's just that goddamn shield. And I don't know how I got through it before. Okay, we got him that time. Piece of shit. Please have armor. See, that's one of the that's one of the things about the KOTOR games that I really wish they did more like SWOTOR. Once you aggro enemies, it's almost like impossible to unaggro them. So <laughs> my character and Beodur are not getting up until I kill the other three enemies with just Atten. I mean doable, because Atten's a badass, but I wonder, what does Atten have? Should he be using a, a, a rifle? No, we got snipe. No, he's got blaster pistol. Um, weapon focus. He got rifle proficiency. What are these abilities he has? Scoundrel's luck. Scoundrels have a knack for getting in trouble, but to compensate, they also possess an incredible instinct for survival. This feat is always active and grants defense bonuses in combat. Defense bonus starts at two, plus two at level one, increases by plus two for every subsequent six levels. So right now he's got plus four. Jeez, that's insane. Survival. The tougher the situation, the more Atten's survival instinct kicks in whether whenever Atten is knocked below 50% of his vitality points, he gets bonuses to all saves. Uh, these bonuses increase as he approaches zero vitality. Spirit. Whether it's a survival instinct or sheer resolve, Atten won't give up. When knocked unconscious, there's a chance he will still get back up, ready for more action, provided someone else is in the party and is still standing. If he returns to the fight, he will come back with 10% of his vitality restored. See, Adam's just a badass. All around just a badass, but I mean Let's settle this. Like I I'm more I was more saying I don't know if I should be using uh like 
sniper shot, or if I should be using just blaster pistols with him. Hit and run guerrilla tactics seems to be seems to be a very Atten style of warfare anyways. I don't particularly prefer to play this way, but since we've hindered ourselves with force abilities, not really a whole lot we can do about it. I was going to say if we could at least get to the military complex, like get inside the base, that'd be a good place to to call it for the night, and then we could pick back up and do that shit, and do the Atris's little Jedi shit the next time. But at this rate, I'm not sure we'll even get that far. Okay, see, like, we're not actually hitting him, so that's why I was trying to go for the sniper feed. More where that came from. Oh, that was a damn good hit. I mean, we definitely missed after that, but the roll we must have got on that first shot was superb. See, like, they stay aggroed. I can leave combat. They won't follow me, but I can't revive my party. It's definitely going to be a slow burn getting through this shit, but we'll make it. I'm almost wishing, though, that I would have used that, uh, that biotech underlay for Atten instead of for my main character. Would have made this healing and survival shit a little better. Ooh, 11, that's a solid hit. And another 11 to wrap it up. One more, and we can wake up our, our team. And then, you know, wait forever for them to heal themselves. What the hell was that hit? Was that like 41 that said? That was something ridiculous. Oh, uh, this asshole's pursuing. Why? For what fucking reason is he, like, super aggroed on us that the other... Well, the first one was, but that the second and the droid weren't. 
I don't know what makes this guy so special. Hell is he? See, like, is that him way the fuck over there? If it is, can't I just, like, get my dudes up and be like, alright, come on, let's go. And we got a speeder here. Aha, so something happened, and I was able to get, get both of us up. That's a problem. Okay, but if I don't do anything, if I have Atten stay the party leader, will my character run over here? No, but he is healing. Is it possible he's just stuck over there? I mean, he's not hes not drawing aggro off that mercenary, so... If we can heal up over here, get him healed up, and then we can run over there and just kind of pincer attack him. Not very much honor in that strategy, but, uh, we came to win. And as Atten's little scoundrel shit said, survival is our number one goal and we ain't giving up. I want to just rush over there now with both of them at about half, but I know that's not wise. I'm gonna pause and see what the hell's going on. He still looks like he's stuck. So just say the word. We're just like we're just gonna leave it for now. We'll let our boys get healed up and then we'll go show that mercenary who's boss. Oh, look at all those birds. It's like a flock of vultures coming to feast. Alright, I think we're healed up enough. Let's go. Come on, Beodur, let's go save me. That worked nicely. I wonder if Bayodur has a uh, proficiency as far as uh, his melee shits go.
unarmed specialist. Should he not have a weapon? Because, like... So this is negative two. I wonder if we have like a double bladed fiber sword. I wonder if that would do better. that gives a minus two as well. It does have the stun chance though. I feel like the stun chance is worth the uh, the loss in damage. I would think so. Because if the enemy is stunned, we can do more damage and will take less. At least that's the way I understand it. I mean, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but... Alright, so we got this droid here, and then I think after that we have, we'll run into the, the two assholes. Another sentry droid. The mercenaries must be using them to locate us. There's probably another patrol nearby. may have to look it up before the next time we stream before we finish the Tilo stuff. I wonder if I wonder if Beodur is better off as an unarmed specialist. Well, I'm really not sure, but I mean that kind of kind of makes sense. He does have that fucking fake ass, you know, that Iron Man arm. Uh, goddamn trip mines. I'm gonna turn solo mode on. And. See if I can trigger, cause I'll as soon as you go up to disarm the mines, you'll trigger the dialogue anyways. Maybe this way I can do it. Run away, and then have Bayodur go up there and disarm the shits or Atten, either one. As long as I have both stealth and demolitions. <laughs> Dolenochi, 
Wait, bounty? Why is there a bounty on your head? Again, you fucking moron. You fucking fleshlight mouth shithead. It's for live Jedi. I am. It, it does Goto no good if the Jedi's dead? Almost like he specifically should have, like, when he specified the bounty, he should have been like, hey, I need the Jedi alive. Not me, obviously. Uh, Bayodor has shit demolitions. Oh, that's stealth. Great demolitions. Atten has good demolitions and good stealth. Alright, so Atten's gonna be our guy. Um, oh, he's got the biotech implant, though. We did do that, didn't we? Smart. What is it he's lacking? Is it was a demolitions or stealth? He's got plenty of stealth, so it's he needs demolitions. So um no, that's fine. I need this though. We'll let him have that for now. Um I think I need the stealth. I think I need the the stealth field generator. Wait here. Oh, look at the way he does stealth. He has it way different. Oh. Okay, so these guys don't care. So that's great to know. <sighs> well, in that case... Well, that's shitty, but I can play games with it at least. Since I'm still in solo mode, I can pew pew pew. Terrible Mandalorian, I can't even hit them for shit. Plasma grenade damage, though. I did do, did some damage there. I hear you. I'm gonna rotate out between uh, characters. And that way we can. Keep our dudes alive. I 
can't even target him. Why? I feel like I definitely need to invest in having either Adden or Bayoder, whichever one, uh, build us some grenades. What's going on? I think I'm gonna have uh, Bayoder run out here and. Run center field. No, not the mines. Not the mines. Not. Why can't I target the asshole? Oh my god, seriously, all he wants to do is fucking go disable the mines. And miss, miss, miss. And miss, miss, miss. And dead. Okay, good job, Bayoder. Good fucking job, you idiot. Like, why the hell can't I fucking target the one I want to target? Alright, I need you to wake up, Adam. Solo mode's over. Just say the word. Everyone down! I love how fucking Bayoder's little remote will follow us, but can't do anything as long as Bayoder's down. See, I'm telling you, all I need is Adam. All I need is my boy. Wow, one security tunneler. Great. <sighs> See, I wouldn't mind having Kreia to have her heals, but... I'm not putting that in the way, and obviously... I have to have Bayodur for the quest. Taste more alky than I taste lemonade on that. Wouldn't be the worst thing, but lemonade's just so refreshing. Cool, I I'm glad I had to run up in this fucker's ugly ass face. to shoot him from afar.
Ross's health going down. Okay, now I see the road is going down a little bit. That Rodian's got some ridiculous health. Or, like, defensive rolls. And tag out. to play in this game. Fucking finally. This one didn't even have any loot dropped. What crap is that? Alright, so we did say... Who did we say had better demolitions? Atten's is 11. So Bayadur's is 9. Atten's is also 9. Um, it's attributed to uh, whoever has the higher intelligence. Um, Atten's is 10. Bayadur's is 15. Okay. So Bayadur is going to be. He's our demolition dude. And I don't have to worry about stealth. Alright, so his is 15 now. So it should be more than enough. May as well test it out before we heal him. Because if he's going to blow up, may as well let him blow up with one health. Ah, but he didn't. And that also means we have those mines that we can use for later. Or to just take him apart. Alright. Let's take it out of solo mode. And let's go let's go hunt us a couple canox. Next time we level up our character, we can get a new feat so we can get that feat for uh, fighting in close combat with ranged weapons because we really need that one. Can there be armor in this bag? That's ironic, isn't it? But I don't think it's... I, I'm almost positive Bayodor can't wear it. He cannot. Has a better defense and dexterity bonus. Gives me Persuade. Gives me Charisma. And Wisdom. <sighs> okay. Here's what we'll do. Let's take... Okay. The 
minor uniform has that regeneration, which would be nice, but I'll put the gel shea on my character. Whoops. And Veodur. No, not Atten. Why the fuck didn't it switch? Veodur. We'll give him that minor uniform. He'll have a little more regeneration, which I think we have we have regeneration anyways because we have the uh, the 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 skill, the feat. So may as well take this off. It did not work the way I thought it would. Or the way I was hoping it would rather. Alright, so now I definitely don't look like a Mandalorian here. But, um, yeah, kind of right now, this will increase our odds of getting the fuck out of here. And that's what really, that's really what matters. I always feel a sense of calm when I walk the surface of Telos. The Athorians are truly amazing in their work. Amazing at wasting the Republic's credits, maybe. But now that you mention it, I think I feel it too. The weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Quiet. There's a large mercenary patrol up ahead. If we move carefully along the perimeter, we may be able to get by without their spotting us. We could cross along the shore, or head along the cliffs to the south. I'll follow close. See, I say that, but I'm gonna. We're gonna end up killing them all anyways, because one, we need the credits, we need the experience, and we need whatever gear they're gonna drop. We just have to play this annoying, uh, like, cat and mouse game. Regal visor, we got a frag grenade, it's nice. I don't remember what that regal visor is. I think it gives charisma. Yeah, charisma and persuade. That's not helping me right now. Let's go back over here. Let's pick on these canocks. And then... I guess we'll just have to figure it out from there. Plus this would be a good test of... Uh, Mine and Baodur's uh, survival rates, if we've increased it at all. Seems to have so far. solo mode. Let's see if I can draw that one canock over here. Ah, oh, fuck. We drew the mercenaries, to too. That doesn't usually happen. Try to leave this group for last. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some leveling, I guess. Which one is he targeting? Okay, he's also targeting the same one I am. 
Bit the dust. Patton can handle himself, and hopefully, he'll come over here whenever he's done. into the face was nice. Oh, we got a stun hit off. That was super nice. Alright. Um, Atten has almost killed this one. I'm gonna go ahead and pull him back. Try and get a more favorable situation here uh, he's pretty low on health damn it all right we'll level him up this time he's getting a new attribute boost and new feet boost too so let's give him dexterity we give him an extra point skills are, are all around just and eh, for him I don't need to give him... I could give him armor. Well, no, I don't want to give him heavy armor because we already established heavy armor is not worth a damn. What do we have? We can't give him the stuff that I want to give him. Precise shot might not be bad. Mobility is a good one, too. Um, close combat. Feet trains range weapon characters fight effectively in close range. When the character's target is at short range, receive a plus one attack bonus. Additionally, when these characters engage in melee combat, their attackers receive only a plus four attack bonus instead of a plus six. I feel like that's what we need over toughness, really. Yeah, I feel like that's our best bet. And then we are fully healed. And I think for the most part now, we should be free to, to regroup. Credits. Useless now, helpful later. That Merc's almost dead anyways, we need to finish him off.
I really don't understand how the rolls work for range combat. I do understand that that's how that worked, though. <sighs> We're not going to get Beodor up, though, until we've killed all of those mercs in that center group. That's really aggravating, especially because that one has that annoying-ass shield. And, of course, our guy with the shield breaker is down. So none of them are really aggroing towards us, which is a problem. Besides the grenades that asshole's throwing, this appears to just be like a 1v1 gunfight. I don't see the other two really interfering. swap out for Bay or for Atten. And uh, we'll let our guy take a rest. Good hit to the face. It did a little more damage than I'd want. God, would you stop doing that? <sighs> I should have never gotten myself the force heal ability. Because that's mainly what did this shit in the first place. Alright, this guy starting some shit with this. Maybe we can target him first. How kind of these mercenaries to have a code of honor. Only dealing with one of ones. I'm going to title this stream, This is the Way, and it sucks. I keep hitting that button on my freaking little headset. 
hot control thing. Just say the word. I'd really rather get that other merc down before the vet, but I can't get that one to come forward. Stop healing, you fucking ass cock. This time he fucking came around to fight us. That hasn't happened before. We're turning off solo mode for this. I swear, I feel like it's every time I do the t it's the most drawn-out garbage aspect of this fucking planet. This, this entire game is I, I can't stand it. Being on the station is tedious, but this shit is just so much more. And there goes Adam. Pressing the fucking pause button over and over again. That's not what I was trying to do. There we go. At me, fucking legend. Alright. I'm gonna go back to solo mode. Let our boy take a rest. I'm gonna go take out this last asshat. Well, we were. Ah, oh, there. There's a seven. Nothing like that last gulp of room temperature out. Meanwhile, this guy's almost dead. Meanwhile, this guy is dead. Oh, 
man. Come on, Adam. There you go. Come on, boy. A poison grenade. That's both helpful and exciting. See, we got all the stuff from over here, right? Yeah, okay. So maybe what we do instead is... Because I know there's the mines up there, up the hill. The mines, the turrets, and it goes into a new area. So we'll probably go up there and do that, and then start the next stream in that area. Because there's also this area over here we gotta go to. Um, I don't remember if there's just Canox over there, if there's a couple Mercs. Um, oh, never mind. Let's not, uh, let's not get in combat just yet. Um, or no, there's nothing here. It's over there, I think there's something. Or maybe it's neither. What's hitting me? Oh, the asshole Canox decided to attack anyways. <laughs> Okay. I was wondering where the fuck he was at. Alright, yeah. Let's go get this shit. And then we'll go deal with the mines afterwards. Advanced med pack. Okay. Um, <coughs> unarmed accuracy gloves. I wonder if I should be using those for again. I don't know. If 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 I look it up and it turns out that Bayodur is better off as just unarmed, then I can definitely give him those. Cause what those give either two or four. Yeah, plus two. And then the plus one, and then adds reflex. Yeah, so that might might be way better for him. Just let him go and fucking fist people with that giant fake arm. Let's go. I mean, he doesn't really seem to be getting that stun anyways, so... Which was kind of the whole point, giving him that force pike over the vibro sword and the vibro blade. Caches. We should be on the lookout for more of these. They could come in handy. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Adam. Thanks, boy. Heavy battle armor, craft heavy armor, things that no one in my party can use. Definitely should sell for some good credits, or at least break down for a lot of good materials. Uh, life support, three advanced med packs. Alright. I mean, yeah, those are all heavy armors, right? Yeah, uh, ten defense and one. No, that's the Achani shit. Okay, I was trying to... I don't know why it's not letting me click that. That's really starting to piss me off. Yeah, craft heavy armor. Two nine defense, two dexterity. 
I should be able to use that, right? Because it's medium armor. The Johnny heavy armor is 10 and 1. The heavy battle armor is just 9 and 0. Dura steel's 10 and 0. I mean, the gel shea is 3, dexterity of 4. Persuade, Charisma, Wisdom, doesn't restrict force, doesn't matter anyways. So maybe I should be using the Krath Heavy Armor. Or wait, maybe I should, maybe Beodur should be using that. Can he? I don't know, because he's so, it's so specific in what he can and can't use. He can use that. Okay. Yeah, so we'll have him wear that. He can wear that, and I'll keep this. And yeah, that's, that's much better. Unfortunately, that plus one regeneration is just going to go unused for the moment, but, eh. I think the increase in defense and plus the extra dexterity he gets is probably a much bigger payoff. Versus just the one extra vitality. What the fuck? Alright, Canuck didn't leave shit. Alright, so I'm gonna leave my character and we're gonna leave Atten over here. Um ah shit, who is our stealth guy? Alright, alright, so it needs to be because he's got stealth and he's got demolitions. Okay. So. No, because he's got to have the. Alright, let's take <coughs> the band off of Beodur. We're going to put. Wait. None. Okay. Now we'll put the band on Atten and we'll put the stealth field uh, shit on him too. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go stealth some shit. Wait here. Looks like a minefield up ahead. We can try and push our way through. <sighs> Forgot or about take that. Some time to disarm some and clear a path. Just say the word. Wait here. I swear I remember, especially on console, I feel like I remember the stealth thing making you look a lot more invisible. Not that I'm complaining 
And of course it could just be because I'm using Atten and he's got special scoundrelly things. Okay, can you turn towards it? Thank you. Trying to get as many as I can before I get in range of those turrets and they detect me. If they do. I would think they shouldn't, but... And aside from the fact that these, uh... These mines will severely shred us. Um... Yeah, I mean, just recovering all of these just gives us so many mines we can plant and use on our own. Or take them apart and use the parts for, you know, whatever I feel like crafting. I definitely feel like once I get the opportunity, we are crafting some damn good... Uh... Some damn good armor and weapons. I'm not sure which. Probably weapons before armor. Because I'd love it if I could feel like, you know... Feel like our hits actually did something. Better back his interface. Okay, that scared me too much. I am not a fan. Oh my god, the last time we saved was before even coming down to the service. Uh uh, we're saving right fucking now. I am not, uh uh not risking that. Holy fuck, I'm not risking that. Alright, come on, squad. Time to take you down the side. I wish since we stealth and we got up there so sneakily that we were going to uh, like, disarm them. But meh. Where that came from? And Bayadur's down. One of his turrets. Everyone is down. Fucked. Treat my character for now. Go back to solo mode. Let's take him out of combat. I think that first I one's already you. down. Yeah. More where that came from. Oh, hey. Calm that shit down. <sighs> Damn, I need to get some armor that does restrict force power use. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just like, I'm just gonna grab this and then... I'm pretty sure it doesn't let you finish the level up process at all if you don't pick one. It's not like your skill points, you can save them up. I'm pretty sure you can't do that with the force powers. You 
know, I almost was like, I'm just gonna use these ion grenades. You know, that's stupid. I need to save those for that giant fucking war droid that's in the military base. I hear you. See, now this is another case of where the the D and D shit really gets on my nerves because I mean, even if you're applying that shit, it's a turret. It's a stationary turret. It cannot move. So, how in the hell do you miss? Especially if you're using a skill called Sniper Shot, or Snipe Shot, or whatever it is. Like, you should not miss a moving target. Or, not miss a stationary target, rather. I think it just, yeah, it just exploded and the game was like, hold, hold up, what's happening? <sighs> there's, oh, what the, there's a Canox still here. More where that came from. That and I'm bringing dinner. More where that came from. I was wondering why Bayodor wasn't getting it. Time to take you down to size. More where that came from. I'm not trying to hide behind Bayodor or behind Adam. I'm trying to actually get him to where he is close enough to get that uh, close combat bonus. There we go. Alright, now everybody has gotten the fuck up. And I'm even going to say that we should stop right here before we even enter the next area. This would be a good spot, and then what I'll do is, um, before I start the next week's stream, I'll just walk through it bef when I load the game up before I even start streaming, and then we'll already be through the loading zone. I just kind of... I don't remember if there's anything that attacks you immediately on the other side. I don't think so, but I'd rather not risk it. So this will be a good place to stop. Uh, probably ran for a good three hours now. Uh, the weather's being, you know, it's fucky ass self tonight. So we're gonna go ahead and just play it cool. We're gonna call it. Um, this was, you know, today was Wednesday, so we were playing catch up because we didn't get last night's stream done. We're not gonna do that tomorrow. We're not gonna do to we're not gonna do Halo tomorrow. Instead, we're just gonna go right into what we're supposed to be doing Thursday. Now that my capture card is done, and hopefully, maybe I'll have an update video about it. Uh, if not, that will be this weekend, and you know, whatever. So. Uh, Magnus and of course Patrick's long gone now but whoever else appreciate you stopping by to say hello talk shit hurt my feelings um, and stir up some conflicting emotions that's going to cause us to have some uh, heated discussions in the near future <laughs> uh, I'm actually starving though so I'm going to go grab some uh, fourth meal not actually Taco Bell but and then uh, either uh, throw some orders together or uh, hit the hay. 
We're gonna go ahead and get the freak out of here, though, so we will see you guys manana.